Hey, thank you very much for this invitation. I will present the project uh, practice, and you have already <laughs> known about the, heard about the project. And do, do not forget that in the corner we have the poster, and you can provide uh, all of you uh, information about the project. But what is a, a, a practice? A practice is a European project, a European an Horizon Europe project, aimed at building a deeper understanding of innovation support services. And we uh, would like to, to say that we aim to empower innovation support services within the member states. And we started to have a big, uh, uh, this deeper understanding starting from the capital regulation, which requires the EU member states to provide support for innovation, in particular for the preparation of uh, and implementation of AP Agri operational groups. However, uh, I think maybe there is some confusion because this is a new term, so uh, there, is not, uh, there are not in-depth analysis concerning the actors providing the services and the services they provided, the linkages with the other actors, and the support they provide provide to innovation processes. And also, there is a, quite a few uh, awareness about the skills and the competencies that innovation super services needs to improve uh, the service delivery. So we, we start from, the, from what already is already existing. We start in, from the EU Skarakis Equity Report that, that was um, the last, the last uh, EU Skarakis Report that lists some of the activities that should be provided by innovation super services. But also analyzing the literature, we found that uh, innovation super services can be labeled in different ways. So maybe you you have, a, have already heard by, uh, um, of uh, innovation brokers, facilitators, transition intermediaries, boundary spanners, free actors, hybrid actors, and all of them are, innovation, are providing uh, innovation support uh, in, very, in, in different phases of uh, the innovation process. Uh, so this, all these actors can be labeled innovation support services. And analyzing uh, the existing operational groups and uh, existing innovation projects, we, we found that uh, there are a variety of providers that are already supporting the operational groups. Not only traditional uh, advisory services, but also a lot of other actors. And this is what, because when uh, the operational groups came out, uh, many advisors were not ready uh, for taking new roles in the in the uh, about uh, their their code, to take their, their new roles and so they f they left a gap and this gap was somehow filled by other actors already that already were skilled to provide some of these uh, uh, services so and analyzing also going in deep analyzing these operational groups and innovation project we found also that different providers can um, the different services and different providers can be engaged in the same innovation process, uh, contributing, performing different functions and uh, contributing to achieve successful outcomes. And this, they can act uh, with a specific mandate because they are uh, already uh, a mandate for, for the government to provide innovation super services, but they can act only moved by their own interest. We found that a lot of farmers, for example, provide networking activities, the social network, as Carola said, no? So a lot of farmers are still providing uh, this kind of uh, services. And uh, going in deep to the literature, there is already a wide description of these kind of services. Uh, during the agri within the agrispin projects, uh, seven different functions were listed, and uh, during uh, within the I2 Connect project, uh, we have several focus group with uh, innovation super services throughout Europe, uh, trying to understand if this function can be confirmed, and we found that this function are confirmed, and uh, we listed a li um, a, 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 um, the activities. Uh, we get we get more uh, we got more in depth listing some activities that can be um, found under this function, but not all these functions are expected by uh, the EU regulation. <laughs> 
So don't worry, uh, because uh, the regulation said that advisors must uh, be uh, able to provide innovation support, in particular for the preparation and implementation, and implementation of operational groups. So what we can say that the activities complying with the legislation uh, pro, um, uh, go uh, from the discovery of, uh, of uh, an, a, an idea, so uh, from the demand articulation, because to discover an idea we need maybe to have a need analysis and uh, uh, such. Uh, so then we have the, the, the innovation support service has to provide an advice, a specific advice, mainly soft skill to help to, to, to the, the innovation to, to, to organize you know, around an innovative, in innovative projects. So network and facilitation and supporting obviously uh, the founding and the, um, the project, uh, um, the, the proposal, the writing of the proposal and disseminate the results. Uh, so, we don't have uh, uh, many results uh, because uh, our project is new, we started only eight months ago, but just a, a reflection for you, uh, since uh, a lot of, of expertise is already in place, uh, maybe uh, especially for those countries who, are, um, uh, who have a, a big um, privatized system, uh, maybe uh, Enhab could be a solution. This is just a question because uh, Enhab could group a lot of expertise already in place. And this uh, hub could be also a solution for back office services. This is our, just a question. To, to reflect on how to, to do. And just to finish, uh, we, um, I, have a, I would like to, to invite you to subscribe uh, the projects because this is not a research project. This is a project for you to support the member states implementing uh, uh, innovation support services. You already have the card with the survey, so please use the survey, fill the survey, because this is helpful for us to understand what you need and what are uh, currently the innovation support services, so please help us. And subscribing the, uh, our project and newsletter, uh, we uh, will be part of the, um, of the um, network. And uh, starting uh, just uh, after the, the summer, we will uh, uh, start giving webinars and workshops uh, with good examples of what innovation super services do and how they could be implemented. And not only good examples, but also a moment of exchange together with the Modernakis project. So we will organize a still exchange um, session and what is important so subscribing you have also the possibility to participate to the exchange visit and to uh, have uh, to receive the toolbox with the methods that help should help innovation super services to uh, to gather grassroots ideas and finally and but not the least it is very important we will uh, train uh, um, uh, more than 400 um, providers uh, within our project. Uh, the expenses are covered by the project, but we are delivering different um, innovation support services, uh, different training models for innovation support services. So if you need to uh, specific support for or a specific help to, uh, to, to train uh, the, support, the innovation support services in your country, you, you can, we can train uh, some trainers in your country so you are able then to provide uh, this kind of models in your language. So please ask us uh, about the training and uh, do not forget <laughs> uh, that we can, we will uh, give this training also together with i2Connect. We already have a module uh, that was developed under i2Connect, and this is a module that uh, is aimed to um, to help uh, out to, to, um, to 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 support innovation support providers within the management of the network, so providing, energizing the network and managing a network. So we have already these models and uh, many trainers are already in this uh, room, so please ask to the i2Connect project and uh, from the colleagues of i2Connect, I will invite you to subscribe uh, the database of advisors, of advisors. So this is...